Did you hear about hashtag MeToo? Of course you did. Recently, all over the world, the biggest story has been something which is usually the biggest taboo of all, sexual intimidation. We invited the head of Women Museum, Meret Ibsen, to come and tell us about the impact of the campaign. The Me Too campaign started in Hollywood, but it spread all over the world. The film industry was the first place where women started to share their stories. But now, so many men in power are accused. The Me Too campaign started in the beginning of October. A lot of female actresses accused Harvey Weinstein of sexual harassing, assaulting or raping. Italian actress Alessandra Milan react with hashtag me too, where all women can share their stories. Soon after, Kevin Spacey was accused of sexual intimidation. Spacey tried to change focus in his apology that he is gay. In November, also actor Ed Westwick and comedian Louise Siki were accused for sexual intimidation. Because they're so popular, some fans accused the women of lying. In Denmark, authorities are now investigating crimes of sexual abuse at Lars von Trier's studio Zentropa. It started in America, but it spread all over the world. Welcome to Miret Ibsen. Uh, we are so happy that we can have you here and talk about this. So, what did you think first when you heard about the Harvey Weinstein story? Uh, I think it have ha happened for so long time. Um, and it was fantastic that uh, it was uh, a worldwide uh, movement um, because we know as women, we know that uh, many women uh, have been uh, afraid of uh, saying what they uh, uh, see around and uh, saying um, how sort of abuse they have uh, be, uh, been into uh, in their professional career, in their uh, private life and so on. So thank you for the uh, uh, world uh, 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 movement. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why did you think that victims came now with their stories or why did yeah. the media pay attention now? Yes, why did the media pay the attention? Because uh, women have t uh, told each other about it for a long time. And in Denmark, one of the big newspapers uh, started a, a documentation about rape in our biggest uh, festival, uh, Roskilde Festival, uh, this summer, uh, three months before uh, uh, the Hollywood uh, story. And why? Uh, uh, did it come to um, our big uh, newspaper, Politi uh, Politiken, uh, this year? Why not uh, uh, two or three years ago? In a way, the, uh, there is a sort of new feministic movement in the world. Um, I think it started in the uh, US uh, when we have a, 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 a president who uh, talked about women as if they were sexual objects for him and for other guys. It was too much for women uh, in Denmark, it was too much for women in America, and it was too much for women in Hollywood. Do you think when Donald Trump said, grab them by pussy, he helps this campaign? Yes, yes, it was, uh, he, he really helped it. Uh, last year at uh, 8th of March, we had a big, uh, demonstration in Aarhus where we have more women uh, and men and uh, very good that also men uh, is part of the uh, movement saying that now it is time for women to be equal uh, with men now it is time for women to be subject in their own story and it is time for women to uh, um, have respect from men and not only be the second sex uh, in the uh, 50s um, um, 
uh, there was a book called uh, The uh, Second Sex, uh, uh, the Second Gender. Uh, uh, it was um, uh, Simone de Beauvoir, a French uh, philosopher, uh, who wrote about women who always have been the next best in our society, in uh, the hierarchical uh, um, position uh, to men. Could it be the beginning of the female revolution? I wish it could. <laughs> and the female revolution should be for equality. It should not be that now women should take over and be like men and suppress uh, the, the first sex, the first gender. Um, uh, but uh, I hope it could be a feministic revolution where uh, equality um, among the sexes, equality among gender and uh, uh, different ethnic groups uh, could uh, be more accepted in our world. Okay, um, the question which is a bit different, do you think that all people who do something as sexual intimidation have a mental sickness? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, it is ordinary men or ordinary women, uh, but very few uh, uh, women are making abuse. Ordinary men, you cannot see it when you meet them. Uh, they don't know it about themselves uh, and sometimes uh, they, they are not happy. Uh, but it is, uh, it is a part of our culture. It's a part of our culture that the man is a hunter and a, a, a woman is uh, the passive one. Uh, you don't believe that women have uh, a fun uh, uh, with sex, uh, but you believe that men is uh, uh, the brave man who can uh, uh, wake her, uh, um, you know, uh, the uh, sleeping uh, princess, and then the man uh, come and he said, now we are happy both of us. Mm -hmm. But it is because he is the active and the outgoing uh, partner that we are happy. Mm -hmm. uh, some men are now worried how to behave. What would you, what would be your advice to male boss talking to a woman? Oh, uh, 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 be respectful, but have fun and uh, show that you uh, think that she's beautiful, and do the same uh, uh, when you are to, uh, when you uh, have uh, men in in your staff, uh, and have a dialogue about how how do we behave in 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 this company and uh, is it good for you to uh, be working here and uh, uh, can shall we uh, change something so i don't i don't think that the right way is that a man shall uh, lock the door and said oh i don't uh, want to have any communication with uh, women because then they said that i am an old pig uh, but um, be uh, be in dialogue uh, with each other with respect and have fun. Mm -hmm. But some people says that, you know, man is from Mars and women are from uh, Venera? Uh, uh, the, the, how is that? V Venus, Venus, thank Venus, you. Venus, yes, yeah, from yeah, Venus. Yeah. So maybe we are speaking different language. How to find this yeah. dialogue, which we understand in the same way? We really are different in many ways. <laughs> uh, we, uh, I can see it when... Uh, I can see it when when you became parents uh, that women take care of children in another way than men take care of children. But the culture have learned us to be so different. The culture have learned us that men should be brave, men should be out acting, uh, women are allowed to cry, women are allowed to talk about their feelings. So we have learned over generation to be uh, so different. Um, but again, dialogue, um, be curious. Try to ask men, what do you feel? What do you think? What do you want? Respect that they want to go to, uh, go to football game or, or uh, looking at cars. But they also shall uh, accept uh, that we are uh, we are outgoing. We are. Uh, we have this. Uh, 
we want to make decisions for ourselves and we want to be uh, um, equal uh, partners. Um, and I will say, don't be afraid and uh, don't uh, be overreacting, but never, never um, take a woman's no and said, I know that a no for me uh, means that she said, yes, please take me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, let's come back to the Hollywood. Why did people immediately believe that Harvey Weinstein do all these things, but find it difficult that Ed Westwick or Louis C.K. can do the same? We need to have heroes. We need, uh, and uh, I think it, it is a reason because it, it is hard for me to say that, that I uh, uh, think that some persons are, uh, are good for my career. So in a way, I'm a part of it. And being part of it, is, uh, then it is important to look inside yourself and uh, blame yourself for doing something or accepting something. So we shall not uh, throw out all our heroes. Um, I think it's a reason. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it's only a female problem or could it be that all men in power have a tendency to abuse it? Um, it is not only a female problem. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the very uh, um, visible uh, sexual abuse is mostly a female problem. But also uh, young guys, you know it from the ca Catholic uh, Church, uh, a lot of boys have been abused and they have not told about it. I think in the church uh, that, uh, you will find more boys than girls because it is a church for men. Um, uh, but if you go out in the ordinary uh, society, uh, the church is also ordinary, but the society for all of us, you will also find uh, men who uh, feel uh, they, uh, that uh, they are not respected and who feel that they have been abused. But most women, because of our um, uh, old suppression of uh, the female. I'm thinking now about the kids and education. Do you think that this kind of female revolution can start with educate kids when they are like young, like, you know, to grown up mm -hmm. the men who can cry and who can talk about his emotion or the yeah. women who can say if something is going wrong? I'm sure it can. And I, I think it is so important that we, as parents, uh, believe that our uh, uh, children uh, can uh, make some decision by themselves. If you, uh, uh, um, if you meet a little boy who wants to play with dolls and who wants to wear dresses, then you are afraid and you push the boy to uh, uh, find a gun or find a car and uh, uh, take on uh, his uh, 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 trousers. If you uh, have a, a girl who play with cars and uh, put on uh, trousers and uh, a jacket, you said, oh, she will be a good leader in the future. And, and, and this is also uh, um, an example on, uh, that uh, the female sex is the second sex. Uh, if you, uh, if uh, boys play like girls, um, we become afraid of uh, uh, if he will develop well. And it is also important to talk with uh, children uh, growing up uh, be before they, uh, um, uh, 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 before the uh, years of teenagers, um, how to respect each other, how to respect differences, see that differences is a resource and not something you should uh, get rid of. And difference means also that uh, small boys and high girls and uh, and uh, fat people are accepted, dark and and and, and white. Uh, so 
it is about um, um, general differences we shall uh, uh, talk uh, with our children. Uh, then I think uh, some of this uh, sexual abuse also uh, can disappear. Yeah. Uh, what would you say to all the, the victims? Um, talk with each other. Um, fi uh, uh, find some who can help you professional if you are scared to uh, come in new situation um, and uh, find uh, your um, find uh, how say the zone of pleasure in yourself and um, be proud of what you can and be proud of what you have done and uh, um, you, you shall continue to be a to try to be a happy uh, person, but uh, uh, take a year or two with professional help if, if you are out there where you need it, um, so that your friends uh, not uh, tell you that now we don't want <coughs> to hear you talk about it again. Because it is, uh, it is not easy to take a, di a discussion with people who are uh, in a way in, in a, a, a field that they are uh, abused, feel that they are under pressure. So, they shall continue. Yes. Will the Women Museum do something about the Me Too campaign in the future, or maybe you are doing something now? Uh, we, we have debate meetings and uh, in our exhibition about uh, um, uh, gender relation, uh, a, a historical exhibition about uh, changing uh, gender relation. We also have uh, uh, looked at uh, what type, uh, what different form of activism uh, uh, have been uh, developed over the years. Uh, back to uh, f a, a female um, uh, female movement. Um, back to Pussy Riot in. Uh, in um, uh, Russia, we can see that there have been uh, uh, um, several uh, several movements over the years, and of course, this will be part of our story. And I hope that we, in ten years, will say, "Oh, it was good that it came, and it had changed the respect between men and, and women." Dear viewers. You have not seen the end of the Me Too campaign yet. I hope you have seen how important the issue is today, tomorrow and forever. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.